This is my Sterling GG45 garage heater that I picked up for my project. If you'd like more info on this heater, look in the description of this video for links to that, as well as um, videos about how I'm retrofitting my old garage um, with more insulation to be able to heat it. I looked at the Big Macs, I looked at the hot dogs, and I looked at these Sterling heaters, and I decided to go with the Sterling um, for a number of reasons. One of them is the option for separate combustion. This increases efficiency, which is important to me because I'm trying to heat this at the lowest cost possible, and uh, I think I can make up that cost of this kit fairly quickly. The way most of these heaters work is they draw their combustion air in from the air that's inside the heated building. They use it for combustion and then they exhaust it out doors. That means the air that was drawn in, which is nice warm air from inside your building, gets thrown outside and has to be made up in your building. That happens by cold air from the outside being drawn in through nooks and crannies and that's called makeup air. I didn't fully understand all of this until I went researching heaters. I also couldn't find a lot of info to help me understand the concentric venting kit, so I thought I'd put this together and explain it. This kit from littlegreenhouse.com, which is also where I bought my heater, includes a 36 inch piece of 4 inch double wall B vent pipe. This is used for the wall penetration. It includes three two foot pieces of 4 inch standard single wall duct. It includes one two foot long six inch piece of standard single wall. It includes two four inch elbows in case you need to do any funny stuff. It includes this flange and gasket which bolt on right here for your intake air duct to fit on. It includes this cap which goes outdoor on the end of your vent pipe. It includes the concentric venting box which basically converts your intake and your exhaust out to a single concentric pipe. I'm going to mock all this up for you in just a minute and show you exactly how it works. It includes the intake air screen. It includes some high temperature silicone. It includes stainless steel screws. Gasket material. And it includes this heat shield. So let's take a look now at exactly how all of this stuff fits together. This kit comes complete for everything that you need for doing a standard installation. The only thing that you might need more is if you need longer venting, then you can go to the hardware store and simply buy more of this cheap single wall ductwork. Okay, let's lay out this concentric venting kit and see exactly how it works. We'll start with this flange and gasket. These bolt on to your combustion air intake right here. That way we can direct our uh, combustion air from whatever source we want. This is exhaust, this is intake. Next, we've got two pieces of single wall four inch pipe, and these are gonna connect up to our intake and our exhaust. Those are gonna to feed to our concentric venting box. This goes on the inside of your building and can be mounted flush against the wall or you can space it away with brackets. This is a piece of 36 inch double wall B vent pipe. This is for the wall penetration. As you can see, this is a four inch pipe going into a six inch opening so it fits very loose. Once it's all the way through, you can see we have two connectors. And those are the two connectors that fit up to the back of our heater, like so. With this against the wall, here's where our wall penetration happens. 
This is a piece of six inch single wall pipe. And that goes around our four inch exhaust pipe. Just like that. This is where our fresh air gets sucked in. This is where our exhaust comes out. The kit includes this shield. First we have to install this uh, fresh air intake screen. It goes over our exhaust pipe and right onto the end of our intake pipe. And I guess that's just going to prevent um, birds and other things from getting inside of there, leaves and so forth. You don't want those sucked into your intake. This is a shield, which goes on something like that. Notice there's a space here between our intake and the shield. The instructions specify exactly how many inches minimum need to be between each section. This piece of six inch pipe has to be cut down for my installation. Um, it's going to be cut down, so by the time we're all said and done, This is going to be sticking out about like that. And finally, this is our end cap, which fits on there. So you can see how this works. And how it all fits together. Exhaust, double wall pipe, shield, intake screen, Fresh air gets sucked in through this six inch pipe. It all goes through the concentric venting box. Your exhaust is a straight shot all the way from this end cap through the box to a piece of ductwork to the back of heater. The exhaust never is loose inside this box. Your fresh air connects to the back of this box and gets pulled in around the outside of the exhaust. It comes in here. A couple things are good about that. One of them is, this is a piece of double wall four inch vent pipe. Uh, this is the hot pipe. And then it's centered with one inch of clearance by your intake pipe. That's gonna help reduce the heat that's going through the opening in your wall. The instructions say that when you're cutting the opening in your wall, you want to have one inch of clearance between the pipe and combustible material. That's the general concept of this kit. It comes with everything that's necessary plus a little bit more. With my installation, I'm going to have that piece of pipe left over and those two elbows, which I don't think I'll need at this time. Um, once I get actually installing it, things might change, but it looks like everything I need is right here. I hope this helps you understand this kit. This is the kit from littlegreenhouse.com. Uh, I believe that they have included extra material besides just the vent box, the screen, and, and that. They make a nice complete kit. I'm also going with the corrugated stainless steel flexible propane line. And I did a comparison of two different common brands of this that are available to the consumer market. If you're considering this and you want to know the differences, Go ahead and click here and you can see the video about that. Otherwise, thanks for watching, stay warm, and if you want to see how my project is moving along, check the description for my other videos.